Let's find the derivative for square root of x raised to the x power. And we do notice that the base is a function and likewise the power. However, before we do the natural log both sides business, let's take a look at this square root. Because we see that this right here, it's the same as saying we have the one half power. So this is x to the one half power and then raised to the x power. What we can do is just multiply the powers. So in fact, this right here, it's the same as saying y equals x to the 1 over 2 times x, 1 half power of x. Yeah. So let's look at this and then let's take the natural log on both sides. And again, the reason is because we can bring the power to the front like this. All right, so we are going to have ln y being equal to 1 half x times ln x. And then we can use implicit differentiation. So let's go ahead and do that. D dx here. Here we go. The derivative of ln y is 1 over y times the derivative of the inside. And that's the dy dx. And then on the right hand side, let's take this as the first function. And when you have a constant multiple, just put it together with the function part. So 1 half x. So let me put that down. And we are going to multiply by the derivative of the second. The derivative of L and x is 1 over x. And then we add the second function, which is L and x. And we multiply by the derivative of the first. Derivative of 1 over 2x. Well, it's just going to be 1 over 2. Because this is x to the first power, so if you bring the 1 to the front, you get 1 half. And then 1 minus 1 is 0, x to the 0's power is just 1. So you have that 1 half. All right. And then, as usual, we can just then multiply y here so they cancel. And likewise, we do it on the right-hand side as well. Ladies and gentlemen, dy dx is going to be equal to y is this is this, which is that. So we can replace that with square root of x raised to the x power. And then we have the rest. We multiply it by this and that, the x cancel, so we have the 1 half. This and that, we can write it as plus ln2, no, ln x. Let me write the x like this, like a Chanel logo, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> and then over 2. And of course, you can put the 2's together, but mm -hmm. up to you. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, that's it, ln Chanel. <laughs>